Hello everybody, welcome back to another video from DJ KJ with J-Man. So today, since this is, this uh, game right here, Survival Craft 2, has been the biggest hit on my channel ever. And I figured I'd do this video and a small little mini-series, the Survival Craft series. And the Survival Craft creative series is coming up soon. I'm still working on some editing. So this is the first one. So I'm going to show you how I will start a world. So you don't ever want, um, you never want challenging. You'll, uh, this is super hard. That is kind of like, it's kind of like the Minecraft mode, like hardcore. So if you die, you never respawn. And that's creative, obviously. Harmless. This is the one I like to go at. I go to the options. So you have continent or island. And I know you guys see flat, but you can only do that in creative. And most of the time I do island, but it has a lot less re it has a lot more like metal resources, but then a lot less food. So you have to work constantly and work harder to survive. Continent, however, has a lot less uh, minerals and stuff like copper and iron and diamond and granite and all this other stuff. But it has a very wide variety of food. Temperature, put that at max. It does do a lot for you in the long run. Humidity, bring that up to at least plus two. It makes all your crops grow faster. You have too much humidity, you get constant rain. So just plus two will make it good. Biome size, plus three, spawns more creatures, and more food. So let's get out of there, set up player. You don't want, you do not want Zachary, uh, Jeffrey, Geoffrey, whatever you want to call him, or Basil. You want Walter. He comes with the most clothing and the heavy hitting clothing. If you're a female player, and you want to choose a female player, I would go with Mabel. She has the most of clothing. But, as for me, I am a man. So, or I'm a male. So, we're going with Walter. Play. Alright, people. We go through this little cutscene. Castaway, boys! Hey, you, on the shore. We're leaving here, you here for good. You jerks! If I could flip them off, I would, but I can't. Alright. First thing you want to do, locate the closest wood. Don't bother anything else. Go for wood. You need three pieces of wood. If you hear noises in the background, that's my dog. She's the cutest little puppy ever. But right now, it's game time. Three pieces of wood is enough. Take the wood, put it in here. Make yourself a crafting table. And if you really want to be helpful in the long run, make some sticks to go with it. I'm just gonna swap those there. So now, there are two things you want to make. First is an axe. Next is not a shovel. Next is a spear. You'll need this for hunting and getting food. Now, we're going to attack this wild boar over here, who's going to fight back. But, do remember, these boars do the least damage of anything on this. So if one starts chasing you, don't worry. They only do half a heart and... Ooh, this one was a lucky one. He gave me two pieces of food. Now let's go over here. Let's try to get this bird before he flies off. Score! And do collect the little yellow orbs. You, sh you guys should know that they're experience. Alright, now that we got this, let's put our meat up here. Hop up here. Oh boy. We got bulls up there. You know, that means there's cows nearby. Yep. We're never going to survive an encounter with these boars right now. Or, what? 
with these bulls right now, so we need to get out of here. Use this axe to start. Start using the axe. Get some wood. So, anyways, how are you guys doing? Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah. I don't know what religion you guys are. Um, I don't know if there's like a. Oh yeah, and all you guys that just believe stuff happens. Happy solstice. <clears throat> For me, I celebrate Christmas, so... Merry Christmas if you celebrate Christmas. Happy Hanukkah if you celebrate Hanukkah. As previously stated, I don't know. So right now, we have some serious business to attend to. We need, uh, 21 pieces of wood. 21? 21! Oh! Well, first, let's grab some pumpkins. These are a good food source. Because they're found everywhere. And that proves my point. Less than 20 feet away, there lies another patch. Let's bounce up here. And let's get these ones, too. So let's get these. Go back to getting some wood. We need five more pieces. Almost good. And good. And the rain is starting. That's good. So we're going to need to turn every little bit of this into wood. Ration our supplies, put everything we have in here. Except for the pumpkins. You just want to save two pumpkins. Because they only grow in groups of five. So you want to have... It'll give you six seeds. Don't worry. I know that's one more than you need. There's no way to make it a smaller point. Now we just got to find a good place to put our house. I would say actually right here is good a place as... Not. Hey, watch this. It's one of these traps. It's a pit. Just watch. This will break. And it's a good thing I spotted that. Because a lot of these traps have spikes at the bottom. You don't want to be trapped in one of those. That'll kill you fast. So that's not a good place. The game likes to do that to you. In just about every optimal place, there's a trap. So I suppose this, as though it is not an optimal place, it's a place good enough. Get these. And this also proves my point that they grow everywhere. Now let's begin construction. Four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, if you just saw that, the screen started to get a little dark. That's because nighttime is nearly upon us, if I am correct. Yes, I have very little time, which is why we must get the shelter up immediately. Well, with what I've got planned in normal shelter, you need to make this three high. And yes, I'm going to cut out a space so that I can have some doors. It's like I'm in try-hard mode. So we're two high. We need to be three high. This gives you a good 4x4 four four of, I know, 6x6 six six should give you a, a 36 living space. Well, this doesn't. It gives you a 4x4 four four living space. I know. The physics of this game will never be understood by kids anywhere. So, let's say our door is going to be over here. So... 
I know I specifically said that it's not gonna be that high. Let's go wink. Let's start breaking these. We need a space that we can actually have a door for the moment being. I'm gonna make two doors to put in here. And if I'm right, which my calculations are 99.9% .9 of the time, I shall have just enough to do this. And a very well made shelter is almost completed. We have one last task left to do. Now we must collect one more piece of wood. And as luck would have it, the night is starting to fall and there's a tree right here. This shall make us good. Now we don't need just one more, we need actually a little more than that. We need to get four pieces. Actually possibly five. Then my dog's like moaning in the background. Let's get one last piece of wood. go. Rush our butts back to the shelter. Turn that into wood. Place the door there and the door there. Alright. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to post this immediately. And I will make another video on this literally right after. See you guys.